Hey, Dr. McGowan here. Let's talk about the early weight loss stall that occurs after any type of weight loss procedure, such as the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty or an intragastric balloon or weight loss surgery. This is incredibly common. Everybody experiences it, and I tell every patient to prepare for it, and it's not a sign of anything abnormal. It's actually completely expected. So let's say that you have an ESG procedure, you are on your clear liquid diet for a few days and then transition to full liquids and the weight comes off fast in the beginning. Almost everybody experiences this. You'll lose potentially even 10 pounds in the first few days or first week and you're pumped. You know, the weight's coming off, you're feeling really good and then it starts to slow down and then it seemingly stops, usually somewhere between week two and four. It's expected, everybody goes through it, we advise all our patients and warn them that this will happen and of course it's still frustrating and you might question what's going on why did i stop losing weight is something not working actually it's completely expected and there's a reason why this happens so in that early few days or first week of the, after the procedure you're on liquids and not much else so your body is feeding off of glycogen this is your main storage form of energy and muscle and in the liver and your body will burn through that in the first few days now glycogen holds on to water in your body. And what's gonna happen is you will burn through all that glycogen really early and you'll drop all of that water weight. So you are losing water weight rapidly in the first few days to first week after this procedure. Then as you're gradually increasing your intake, transitioning your diet along, drinking more fluid, you will regain that glycogen. Your body will restore the glycogen within your muscles and within your liver. That's important. That way you have energy to do things, start exercising go about your normal activity. So it's really important that that is replaced. But once that glycogen is restored, you put back your water weight and you'll regain that weight. So if you dropped approximately 10 pounds in the first week because you purged all of this glycogen and water, you will regain that 10 pounds over the next couple of weeks. But the scale does not go back up. And that's a key point. It stays about the same or maybe goes down slightly. The reason is because simultaneously, you're actually losing fat and some muscle but you're basically burning through your fat stores then and losing real weight. So the scale might look like it's not moving. That's because you're regaining glycogen, but dropping fat. It looks like it's net even, but you're actually losing real weight. That's a critical point. So the answer, the solution to this is not to change anything you're doing. It's really just to stop weighing yourself if it's bothering you. So I tell my patients just to stop for a couple of weeks. Don't weigh yourself. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. There's really nothing to change. And inevitably, the weight loss will resume because you're continuing to burn fat during that time. This is a really common reason that a simple diet or fast just doesn't work long term because you drop that weight early on and then you stop losing weight and you can get frustrated and go back to your prior habits. But after a procedure like ESG, you'll continue to lose weight because that tool is there supporting you. You're able to eat less, begin exercising, and you will continue to lose weight for 6 to 12 months or even longer. So don't be frustrated by an early weight loss stall, really a scale stall in the first few weeks. It's completely normal, everybody experiences it. One additional reason why your weight loss does start to slow after the first few weeks is your metabolism's dropping. Many of our patients will lose 10% of their body weight in the first month, certainly by two months, and as a result, your metabolism goes down, you've lost a little bit of lean muscle, and the way to rebuild that is to start exercising we recommend exercise five to six days a week, including resistance or weights two days a week, so you can start rebuilding your lean muscle, and that will help significantly with boosting your metabolism so you can continue to lose weight. So these are all the reasons you might experience a stall, but in the beginning, it's purely because you've lost a lot of water, and it doesn't reflect true weight loss yet. Bottom line, stay consistent, follow the protocol, trust the process, and don't worry too much about the scale in the first few weeks, or even first month or two. I often tell my patients, if you don't weigh yourself for two months, it won't bother me because I know that you're going to lose weight predictably if you're following the protocol and it just doesn't matter that much in the beginning how much your weight changes from day to day or week to week. So less frequent weigh-ins, probably better in the beginning. Once you've reached your goal weight and you're maintaining, then it's probably better to weigh yourself more often so you can notice any changes that might be indicators of you getting a little bit off track. So I hope this was helpful and answers such a common question that we receive. And again, stay focused, stay patient, trust the process, and rely on your provider, your physician, your dietitians to support you as you're losing weight.